students, welcome to third grade, chapter four, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So all they want us to do is to write one way that we can break apart the array. Okay, remember the array is just a picture, not too hard, okay? So on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and split it right here, okay? Which means we're gonna go across one, two, three, and down one, two, three, four, and we're gonna put that in parentheses. Then we're gonna to add to it the one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's all we're doing guys, super easy, okay? Which means three times four is 12, plus five times four is 20. So our total is 32. Okay, we're gonna do one more, okay? All right, so. I'm gonna split this one. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine across. So I'm gonna do five and four, okay? So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna put that in parentheses. Plus I left five, oops, times, sorry, not, not plus, times, times the same six, okay? So now, that leaves us with 24 plus 5 times 6 is 30. So now 24 plus 30, 54. Okay, it's not too bad. We try and do it so that you guys have um, an easier number to multiply by, which is why I picked one that had 5 on each one of those. Okay, because 5 is an easy number to multiply by. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I would do five and three, okay? You absolutely don't have to, okay? But I'm gonna leave the multiplying on that one to you guys, okay? So multiply them out. Okay, add them up and give the answer, okay? All right. There are two rows of eight chairs set up in the library for a puppet show. How many chairs are set up? Use the distributive property to solve. That's all this is. We're distributing the same six on this one, okay? The same four on this one, the same seven on that one, okay? So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do two times, I'm gonna do five plus the two times, and then five plus three is eight. So two times three, okay? So now that's 10 plus six, well, that's just 16. So 16 chairs, okay? Let's do another one. A marching band has four rows of trumpeters with 10 trumpeters in each row. How many trumpeters are in the marching band? Use the distributive property. So I'm gonna go, Instead of four times 10, I'm gonna do four times five and I'm gonna do four times five twice. So four times five plus four times five. Okay, so now we're gonna have 20 plus 20, that's 40 trumpeters. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the back. Okay. You guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down to this file review, okay? So the auditorium, the school auditorium, has 448 chairs set out for the third grade performance. What is 448 rounded to the nearest 10? So over here, I'm going to put 448 once it rounded to the nearest 10. So I'm going to be looking at the 8. If it's 5 or bigger, it makes that 4 go up to a 5. If it's not, it stays the same. Well, 8 is definitely bigger than 5. So it's going to be 450. Okay. We are going to find the difference. So we're just subtracting, guys. Okay. But zeros can't take away anything. So I'm going to go all the way over. I'm going to make that a three. That makes this zero a 10. But I need to borrow one of those. So that's a nine now. And that's a 10. Okay. So 10 minus six is four. Nine minus nine is zero and three minus two is one. Okay. There are 622 fruit snacks in one crate and 186 in another crate. How many fruit snacks are there? So all we're doing is adding. Okay. Two plus six is eight. Two plus eight is 10 
carry the one. One plus six is seven plus one more is eight. So we're gonna put 808 fruit snacks. Okay, all right. This wants to know, which sport do six students play? So I'm just gonna draw a line of six, and that way I can just say which one matches that line, and that's gonna be this one, which is football. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 4.4. Come on back for 4.5. See you soon.